Whether you hate him or you love to hate him, all eyes are on my next guest as Election Day approaches. Mr. President, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, the midterm elections, that's like a really big deal, right? Like the biggest deal. Well, then let's get your take on some individual races. Uh, Ted Cruz, who in 2016 called you a serial philanderer, a pathological liar, and a sniveling coward. He's a total disaster. But now he likes you. You know, he's a very good person. Andrew Gillum? That guy is great. He's a star. He's the Democratic nominee for governor of Florida. He's a thief. My Aunt Linda's from Florida. She voted for you. Star. But she didn't like you anymore. Well, that must be some kind of a sick woman. Democrats and Republicans alike have called for you to tone down your rhetoric so as not to contribute to the division and vitriol and overall shittiness of the country right now. Yet you continue to turn it up, particularly at your rallies. Rallies are meant to be fun. I get it. I do, and I would totally agree with you if you were a nine-year-old having a birthday party, but you're the leader of the free world. I know, I can't believe it either. And I'm getting 25 and 30,000 people to these rallies. Nobody's ever seen it. There has never been anything. This isn't bragging. There has never been anything like what's happening. I went to Illinois. You had to see. Holy crap, it sure feels like the world's in dire straits. It gets bleaker by the second, though I'm sure we'll overcome it. Still, we're all afraid and don't know what to do, right? Uh... That's because the President of the United States is seriously narcissistic and incapable of unifying the country because he's emotionally stunted since his father never loved him the way he needed him to, so now he's taking his repressed anger out on the rest of us. <clears throat> you. As soon as you make any statement nowadays with the political correctness world, they make a big deal. What the hell's up with the country today? I feel like packing and running away. It's very scary and super strange. It makes me feel weary. How can I change it? I think I found a fix on November 6th. Hope you won't think that I'm gloating If you wonder why I'm voting Let's just say It's cause I can And I hope I don't sound partisan But listen everybody, here's the plan Go out and get to voting Though your interest is waning And while fetching and complaining Is more fun, I know be responsible instead whether you vote blue or you vote blue <laughs> i'm just kidding go and vote just vote keep voting go sarah sanders you are full of it how can you possibly defend this shit do you honestly believe the stuff you peddle and promote which is intended to deceive us <clears throat> Don't forget to cast your vote, bitch. If you want the privilege to whine, don't just tweet, lament, and opine. Put some makeup on and get your ass in line. And girls, start voting. What the hell's up with the country today? I feel like packing and running away. And let's make it better. It's not too late to. Get out and vote, or else I will hate you. Responsible instead. Think I found a fix. Yes, bitch. Voting. One last hope for us to cling to. And if there is just one thing you uh, can depend upon, though I do admit you came on strong. Presidents can only last so long And I will keep voting just as soon as I turn 18 I'll keep voting blue It will be a disaster Until you're gone There has never been anything, this isn't bragging, there has never been anything like what's happening